We're gonna tear them up. Here we go. Nice. Nice. Oh boy, they tore them up. Real nice. Nice. High shot. What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Real quick, before we get into it today, I want to tell you all and remind you over on my podcast, Blind Talk Podcast on Patreon. Yes, I will link it at the top of the description down below. Me and old P. Diddy were giving away a turkey hunt for two lucky guys to come on down to Central Kansas and whack them a gobbler with us. We did it last year for two lucky winners. They had an amazing time, and we got it done in one and two days uh, for both of them. So if you guys want to get in on that turkey hunt giveaway, just go join the podcast, check it out. I, I will say that I have had zero complaints about the podcast and all the episodes that we have on there. We have Federal Ammo on there. We have some special guests and a lot of good information that y'all want to see and hear. They're video podcasts. It's not just audio podcast there's an audio version too that you can download to your phone so when you're driving or something but it's video we're all there we're talking we're showing clips from hunts it's a bunch of fun it is raw very raw it is very raw and it is for adults but it is down at the top of the description below let's get into this hunt uh this was a good one what are you looking at man snapchat something you're probably not supposed to put it away <laughs> There we Snapchatting are. Snapchatting already? He probably. Goodness. Him and his girlfriend. You can't just stay off Snapchat. Him and his five girlfriends. Five girlfriends? Hope Bailey don't see this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're joking, Bailey. We're joking. <laughs> Bailey knows. <laughs> Bailey knows. <laughs> Bailey he don't knows. even know who Bailey is, but she knows. I don't know. She knows. <laughs> she knows. There we are. Uh, well, you guys can pick yourself a spot. I'd start on this just left side and start filling that way. Where are y'all going to be? Uh, they'll be on the yeah, end. Yeah. Yep. You guys good with that? Yeah. Okay. Two of us are left-handed, so we probably should be down here. Okay, so. yeah. Put yourself wherever you want down there. Okay. Yep. It's going to be cold on the old Tootsies today, boys. No, it ain't. on your Tootsies, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you got good boots on, Oh, yeah. You? Good. I see my clothes on, but other than that, you can always take them off, you know. Well, here's, well, here's the situation. You can't even see the A-frame today. It looks amazing. We got it back in the brush a little bit with some evergreens on the top, like always. Yeah. What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Can-Am's looking real fine. Looking good in the snow. We haven't had to use her very much lately. With it being cold, the farmers have not cared about us being in the field. Beauty. All right, we're out of here. All righty, boys. Good luck today. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys whack them. Oh, I know you'll have fun. You'll shoot some. Just make sure you shoot straight. and We don't need all them swings and misses happening now. Is it running? It's locked. <laughs> Is it running? Yeah. Well, that ain't, why didn't he turn it off? I have no idea. I'm going to have to run back out there. Yeah, hopefully. Darn it. Client left his truck running. I have no idea why. Okay. Well, we're pulling out. Klein's truck, I guess, has a timer on it. Never heard of it. Never heard of her. Uh, but he said it'll turn off here in about two minutes. So we're going to park the side by side in the trailer. You guys are going to go scouting with me. Uh, we haven't done a scout slash hunt video in quite some time. And you guys have uh, said that you wanted some. So we're going to get one in here. It's a good time to do it too because we have so many birds in our area that we should scout and see today that I'll film it on here and then Preston in the blind, uh, he'll film the hunt with big camera and get all the audio and stuff. So if you guys like these videos, first off, please help your boy out and smash the thumbs up button uh, letting me know that you guys like them. If you guys got a comment about it, maybe you want to see something else. Drop a comment, let me know. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Summer's coming and a lot of you guys know we gotta get our hunting in here before it goes away. Uh, because you know me, I, my summers are slow and long. Oof. Well, here we go. We got the Can-Am parked, the trailer all out of the way, corner of the field. Look at that sunrise. Beautiful morning, my goodness. It's gonna get fairly warm today. 
uh, probably, I don't know, I think 55 or something. So it's gonna feel like springtime. And boy, howdy, we have had a uh, influx in birds come into the area. The reverse migration has already begun. Uh, not already, began probably January 20th, sometime like that. And we have just seen birds pill pilling, spilling in a ton of snows. Uh, the lessers are really coming back in now, thank goodness. The specks are starting to show back up. We really lost a lot of our specks, mostly like all of them. We lost them uh, like a month ago, a couple weeks ago, and now we're seeing them again. So reverse migration is on. Uh-oh, uh, we just got here and she's like, oh, we better go into high idle. She's dirty, she needs a bath. Stand up and shoot him, guys. Shoot him on the ground. Okay. 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 Well, sun is all the way up now. It is sitting at 8.07. I'm sure the guys have shot something by now. Well, we're out scouting now. All these geese and eagle just scared up all these birds. They'll probably go back down. Definitely just heard our boys shoot. So they cracked off pretty good. Hopefully they got some birds down. Well, we're gonna go on the other side of town and look at some of the fields uh, that the birds have been hitting of ours, of mine. Uh, there's one field in particular that the birds started getting into yesterday that we haven't got to hunt this year. I've been waiting to hunt it uh, all season. And believe you me, if they get in that thing today, we're definitely gonna hunt it tomorrow, and it should be crazy good. They're gonna tear them up. Here we go. Nice. Nice. Oh boy, they tore them up real nice. Nice. High shot. Woo! That was awesome. That was nice. Woo! They tore them up. Well, it's sitting at 850. 
the geese are starting to get into one of our fields pretty heavy um, I got a lot more to check and the boys are already done and they're limited out I'm sure you guys already knew that I just got a text yeah Gerald just text the group chat at 841 he said done picking up now <laughs> Oh, seven man limit like that. I mean, that was no time. Last night they were like, is it gonna be a good hunt, Bob? And I said, it's gonna be a banger. And they're like, well, why? And I'm like, well, these geese, uh, whenever they get in this field on the second day, when that field gets real big and we hit it, it's always a banger. They're like, no way. And sure enough, here we are. <sighs> so that's good news. Uh, good hunt for the boys. Uh, I gotta finish my scouting we're gonna film some birds here hopefully uh, let's see what's in this field right here uh, there's some birds not very many but I know that this field is gonna grow um, another outfitter hunted it like two days back to back and uh, I don't know if he just didn't do a very good job maybe or or what because the birds are definitely not leaving it I don't know that's uh, not very many, but I guarantee it gets bigger by the morning. There's probably, I don't know, a hundred. That hundred will grow to probably a thousand or fifteen hundred by this evening. This field, they've been favoring a bunch. Like I said, another guy hunted it two days in a row. Uh, kind of beat me to the punch, but um, it's ours now. And uh, we're gonna let her build back up. The farmer's extremely nice. Uh, he was like, Bob, I'm sorry, I feel bad you're not able to hunt it, but I gotta keep my word on this other gentleman. And I'm like, hey, no problem, no problem. He was like, but you're up next to hunt it. It's all yours. And I'm like, thanks, man. So just being nice and courteous to your farmers and landowners and, and not only nice and courteous, but respectful. And what I mean by respectful, if you promise them something, you need to follow through, uh, especially when there's money involved. And especially when you have wheat like this, winter wheat, that thousands of birds are sitting on morning and evening eating. So a couple different factors. Um, when you promise to pay, you pay on time. You know, you don't wait around. You at least need to touch base and say, hey, I'll have you a check in the mail. Hey, at this date, you'll have a check. Hey, I'll bring money by something. Just reassuring those farmers and landowners that, um, you're here to do it right. You, you know, you're not here to use and abuse them. So let's move on. Oh, I told you. I told you I needed to do it. It's time to clean this beauty. Uh huh. A little before shot. Uh huh. We'll get an after shot here in a minute. Then I'm going to take you guys right across the street. Uh, I want to show you. Yeah, look, she's absolutely filthy real bad real real bad but after we're done here i'm going to take you guys across the street uh it's a little city in town city field and i believe it's epically stuffed full of dark geese so i'm going to hurry up and clean this we're going to get over there and look at that not nearly as quote full with geese as I promised it would be but I guarantee you earlier this morning it probably was check it out so this is just a uh, local little city field and it's in an industrial part of town and this field it's not very big see it goes that corner to over there that corner to that building it's not very big here's a major road and right now I would say if I was to guess, that's about 100, 100, there's about 150, 200 geese in here. We at Sand Hill have seen this little field stuffed with probably over, at, at points, I don't know, there, there could be two, three, four thousand all dark geese in here. The snows don't touch this field, uh, it's just the candidates. So this field uh, is known for being able to spot bands, bring your binoculars. Uh, you can see a lot of cool birds in here. Uh, there's also always a uh, 
a cross in here, a hybrid, like a snow lesser hybrid. Always one in here. I don't see one right now, but it's a pretty neat little field. I think so. Yeah, all you well, boys helping, huh? All the all the boys are helping, huh? Yeah, I, I just got back from the store, so they, they already <laughs> had this, this assembly line going, so I figured I'd just let You do not let mess up got, with the process. We got the drinking assembly line, we got the cutting assembly line. I'm supervision. Oh, just supervision. Supervising. Yeah. Line. I, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Drop the feather. Well, good hunt. Yeah, it was an awesome hunt. Awesome we hunt. Had a great great time. hunt. So, yep. Great hunt. Got a band? Got a band. band. That's yeah. awesome. Who won band. that? Oh, uh, Brian. He's not here. Our head guy. Did he call it in yet? Uh, I don't know if he has or not. He was all in the phone on there. The same as four years. Four years? I bet you it's four years, none of it Canada. Well, that's a good day. Oh, it was an awesome I saw day. you get into that one volley. I'm like, oh, that was a good one. Oh, you were watching? Yeah. He didn't hear me hoop. Well, uh, that was a good one, right? Another banded bird. We went on a killer banding streak. Banding streak. Banded bird killing streak. Uh, the last month. This last month, we shot basically half or a little more than our total band count all year. Uh, we didn't know that bird was in that feed. You never do. With these lessers, they're not like honkers where they're real tall and you can see those bands. It's very, very, very difficult to spot a banded lesser in a feed. So just to let you guys know, uh, I know we're going to go, like I said, on these band streak uh, videos. Just know, like... We're just picking good feeds to hunt. And what always happened was we would shoot one lesser band here, and then we'd go hunt way over, you know, 50 miles away. Then when we'd go back, we'd shoot another band. So it was just that pot of birds that were there during that time. The clients sure do appreciate a band. Uh, one hunt that is not on video, unfortunately, uh, that happened. Gage ran this hunt. They shot a banded Ross that came in by itself in the morning. Uh, they left the spread up, hunted the evening, and shot another banded Ross that came in by itself. The numbers weren't very close to each other as far as the band numbers, but it was just a pretty special day. They only shot 14 total that day, day and night. So, a uh, lot of cool stuff to come. I still have a handful of videos that you guys haven't seen, a handful of hunts. Um, we're going to get back into the normal groove of things. We're going to do some crow hunting, coyote hunting, pigeon, uh, pigeon trapping, pigeon hunting, all that stuff. We're going to get back into turkey right around the corner. And you guys are gearing up for turkey just like me. And <sighs> my sinuses are going crazy. And uh, spring is on the way. Like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, uh, over at my podcast, me and old P. Diddy's podcast, Blind Talk Podcast on Patreon, I will link it at the top of the description, uh, pretty much every single video so you know where to find it. Uh, when you go over there, you support me directly, absolutely directly. Uh, as you can tell, YouTube's been taking a hit, and I've been taking a little a little break from uh, uploading so much, just kind of when I want to, and uh, YouTube's really, you know, socked it to me, per se, on uh, on this type of stuff. So um, if you want to help support the channel and, and help me directly, we keep it fresh, we keep it new over on the podcast, and we are giving away a two-man turkey hunt shotgun. Uh, yeah, shotgun two-man uh, we did last year, and it turned out amazing. Two awesome fellas that won it. So if you want to get in on that giveaway, just go join the podcast. Uh, you'll love all the content over there. We keep it raw. We keep it very real. So... Thank you all for being here. If you have any um, any questions or or any uh, any input on what you guys want to see coming up, I'm going to be doing some how-to videos. We're going to get back into those. So let me know. Stay safe out there. It's cold. But until next time. Oh, they're going to tear him up. Here we go. 
Nice. Nice. Oh boy, they tore him up real nice. Nice. High shot.